I want people to understand that it's not just where they're trying to to just afflict you or give sickness to you. The purpose of the altar is to tie you to bring you into a state of perpetual bondage to the degree that it is you cannot go nor come and come nor go because there a a a, a, a altar has engaged you and even though you cannot see the altar physically like I said with Jacob, he never saw a physical altar. He stumbled upon it. And then he took a rock and put it on his head, not realizing that, wait a minute, I have just, amen, engaged, activated this altar. That's why I was saying to me, we were talking about the prayer pillow this morning. And, 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 and on the other day, someone was talking about, why did, why, why y'all got all these pillows and this stuff? And I was like, people don't understand the power wow. of altars. Woo. They don't understand the power of holy My things. God. Hallelujah. What are you talking? The same thing with prayer, Sean. Amen. People look and they say, huh, why are y'all trying to, why you have these prayer shawls? What is this all about? Oh, this is a, this is a connection to Amen. an altar. Hallelujah. This is not just a piece of cloth. Amen. Woo. Prophet, you talking. This is a covering. Come yes. on, somebody. Amen. This is a this is a this is a symbol. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, Woo. of my connection Amen. To, to an altar. Woo. And Woo. you, it's connecting you to a place that is probably more powerful than uh, where you are. Amen. Spiritually, but at least it's connecting you there. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you understanding what yes. I'm saying? Amen. So this is why when Jesus said to the people, take the blood and put it upon the doorpost. Yes. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. So I am hoping then that what? When I wear this prayer shawl, prophetess, uh, come on somebody. Woo! If my name can't get me Hallelujah, into the gate. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Am I talking to somebody here? Amen. Amen. If my name can, if your own name cannot get you into the gate. You're talking. I'm hoping some credibility from you or apostle will get me yes, in. Yes, amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody here? You're talking. They were saying how somebody was, amen, trying to get on a flight, could not get on a flight for nothing in the world. Uh, and they was in the, to the ticket counter trying to get on this flight, could not get on. And I mean, it was like fussing them, fussing them. God. Finally, amen, a lady came from out the back area and said to the lady, come here. And she said, come, where are you trying to get? She told her where she's trying to go. And the lady said, okay, just wait right on the side there for one minute. She don't know what the lady did yet. Uh, but the next thing she knew, the lady was printing out her ticket and said, God bless you. Hallelujah. Matty Nautic. Woo! Hallelujah, Jesus. Woo! You talking? <laughs> the woman was just wearing the yeah, prayer show. On. My God. Am I talking? She said, I don't understand. I would have been. So, and the woman said, where are you trying to go, mommy? My she God. said, I was just trying to get. I don't know what happened. They tell me no more seats. And the hairs, I put my uh. flight. Well, she said, oh, come here. Just stand right over there. Uh. And the woman went there. Do, 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 do. My blah, God. Blah, 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 and give her and say, God bless you. Amen. Matty Norwich. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo. Oh, yes. Come on, people of God. Amen. You don't just know where your favor is. You cannot just see the holy things that God has given to you Amen. as some joker, joker, joker. Hallelujah. You can't see it as, wait a minute, there's just a piece of cloth. There's just a piece of paper. My God. Talking. Am uh, I talking to somebody? Yes. There's just a piece of rag. It may be a rag to you, but to me it's a flag. Amen. It is a flag. Woo. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. talking, prophet. Simple. When that angel fly over Egypt that night, he did not just see a eh, blood. No, no, he saw Jesus Christ, Amen. son of the living God, sitting yes. on top of each one of them door posts. Hallelujah. Is this so? Yes. So you have to now see that your connection to this altar, this fiery altar, this holy altar, there's an altar of prayer, there's an altar of fire, yes. this is an altar of power. Amen. This is no jokey, jokey connection. Amen. This is a divine connection. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? You're talking this prophet. is a divine connection. Yes, Lord. And I and this altar have benefits. Woo. Amen. Yes, Lord. 
the altar have what? Benefits. My God. Which means that I am a benefit. You are a beneficiary. Ooh. Praise God of the grace that has yes. been given unto me. Hallelujah. That has been given unto you. you Come on, somebody. Talking. That miracles are supposed Hallelujah. to happen You're in your talking, life. Prophet. Miracles are supposed to happen You're in your talking. family. Am I talking to somebody? When you are sick, oh my yes. God. Hallelujah. We call upon the God of Abraham, Ooh. Jacob, and Isaac. Hallelujah. But where's the God of my papa? My God. Where's the God of Apostle yes. Edison? Where's the God of Providence, yes. Martin Norwich? Where's the God? Woo! Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The weapons are formed. Yes. But take care, prosper. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. So you begin to talk to God like that. Father, I am connected to a powerful altar. Amen. I am connected to an altar. Yes, Lord. Prakari here should have that praise. Amen. I am connected to an altar. Yes. I have sowed seeds on this altar. Amen. God, my business cannot close. Yes, Lord. And if the business close, uh, oh God, Amen. the eternal God, yes, Lord. where's my better business? Yes, Lord. Where's my next door of opportunity? Hallelujah. Oh God, nothing in my family should fail. Yes, Lord. Nothing in my life should fail. Yes, Lord. Where's my heart? This. Oh Lord, let the famine be over. Yes, you spirit of famine, you demon yes, of drought, yes, go out of my life, Whoa. go out of my family. In the name of Jesus. In the, name of Jesus. Name. the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Christ's name. Thank you, Lord. Comparing spiritual things ah, my God. with spiritual. So you begin to function as a different woman. Amen. As a different man. Yes. Because you understand, I am not connected to a crazy altar. Amen. I'm connected to a holy altar. Yes. I'm connected where? To, holy to a holy altar. altar. Yes. To a righteous altar. Amen. Wow. To an altar of grace, mercy, yes. and favor. Thank you, Lord. So that begin to now become the practice of your life. Yes, Lord. And you begin to function within that practice. Amen. And you don't let that go just like that. Ah. You say, I am connected to a holy altar. Amen. No sin is in my life. In Jesus' name. Only the grace of God is in my yes, life. Yes, Lord. And as I begin to pray, as you begin to pray, Amen. you begin to cash into that altar. Yes, Lord. You connect with that altar in Amen. the spirit. Come on, somebody. You don't just pray once. Ah. You pray, praise God. You pray at noon day. Amen. You pray at six o'clock. Yes. You pray at midnight. Hallelujah. You pray at six a.m. Yes. You put every opportunity and it may not be all hours and hours, yes. but you already know Rosata Rabasata, Rosha Prakata Rabaha, Arike Seteri Roshata. Oh God, every curse working against my life shall fail. Amen. Every you sickness, I don't even care if it's the flu. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. My Jesus love of my soul. Hallelujah. The flu. My God. The flu. My God. Uh, you're going to be down with that flu for 14 days. Which blessed 14 days? Amen. My God. Am I talking to someone? You're talking. Which blessed 14 days are you talking about? <laughs> Which one? Uh. Even the, the fact that the flu got in, you are dead. Uh. You are finished. I promise you. Jesus. Where you think you're going? Yes. How did you get here? Amen. Hey, Hallelujah. Three days he has left. Amen. My God. Woo. Thank you, Lord. And people are looking at you like, are you sure you had the flu? That's right. Come on, Prophet. Go on. Amen. And y'all get what I'm saying? Yes, yes Prophet. Right. That cancer is supposed to kill you. My God. To everyone who had that cancer died. Oh, can't kill Nobody me. survived that cancer. Can't you, you are still here. Hallelujah. Hair went and hair came. Oh. Hair came and hair went, but you are still here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Am I Jesus. talking to you? You are talking about it. They thought that their witchcraft was going to just wreck your whole life. My God. Oh. And then you, they, they just see you and they say, Oh, you look good, eh? Yeah, of course. Amen. Woo. You are an overcomer. Hallelujah. Because of your altar, you are connected to. You're talking. I wish somebody Hallelujah. would give God a mighty Hallelujah. praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Houston, Texas Prophetic Deliverance Fire Revival is not cooling down anytime soon. Apostle Edison Nottage and Prophetess Dr. Maddie Nottage bring the altar of fire and power to the state of Texas. The unforgettable Prophetic Deliverance Revival of Fire and Power will bring a showdown of holy altar against wicked. Come to the place where God will arise with demonstration and power to defeat every plan of the enemy. Friday, November 18th through Sunday, November 20th.
2022 at 7.30 p.m. nightly Central Standard Time. In Houston, Texas at 2030 Humble Place Drive, Humble, Texas, 77338. Register now to experience fervent, effectual prayer, explosive praise and intense worship, accurate prophecies, powerful preaching, prophetic deliverance, supernatural miracles, signs and wonders, and more. Call 1-888-825-7568 or 1-242-698-1383. Visit our website at manynotage.org. Register now to experience the prophetic deliverance revival fire in Humble, Texas at 2030 Humble Place Drive. Tell a neighbor, tell a friend, bring the entire family and be blessed as you encounter the supernatural God who answers by fire. Yeah, Houston, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Houston, hallelujah. And I tell everyone to come out because this is the place to be. And if you want to get your deliverance, you want to be saved, you want to uh, go higher in the Lord, come on, come on down here to Fort Lauderdale. And I really enjoyed the worship experience, and I'm grateful that you guys set the atmosphere, allowing us to experience heaven as well as deliverance. I feel like a lighter load has been lifted off of me. I want to tell prophets and apostles, just thank you for doing this deliverance. I'm coming from London, England. And I've, it was a nine hour flight and the flight was extraordinary. It has been an experience for me that has changed my life, changed my mindset, changed the way I think about things, changed the way I look, about, look at things in my life. And as I go through this, continue to go through this growing process, um, I can see the manifestations in my life starting to change. My business life, my, my um, school life, my work life, my family life has all been impacted by the ministry here. I'm so grateful. I'm so excited for what's to come. And I'm excited to see what's going to come out of this from my life. They really want to see people delivered, saved, and set free. Uh, circumstances brought us here. And I'm looking forward to training for reigning because I understand that this is a training for reigning like no other in the world. And this woman is phenomenal. She's real. She's she's genuine. She really cares. And if you come in with an open heart and an open spirit, God can set you free. He can deliver you. Even if she don't put her hands on you, she can just throw her hand back and just speak the word. And the word will set you free. And come receive some knowledge. I had to apply. I had to register because I need to know. We all need to know what it is that we're up against. Fight. We got. We got to know what's giants, what's strong man. Any, any, everything that's out there. We got to know what we're against. I give thanks and praise and honor for bless for the Lord blessing and using Apostle Edison and Prophetess Maddie knowledge to put fire in them, the anointing and glory, so they could bless us with the spiritual ammo that we need to blow these demons' brains out. Register now for the highly impacting Dr. Maddie Nottage training for reigning tactical kingdom skills enrichment sessions. These life-changing sessions have equipped and empowered believers from all around the world to gain the victory during times of spiritual warfare. Prophetess Nottage has been endowed with a unique prophetic grace to bring enlightenment and understanding of spiritual dynamics through live demonstrations, revelatory teaching, and radical preaching. During the month of November, sessions will be held Saturday, November 5th and Saturday, November 12th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Training opportunities are available online and in-house at our South Florida campus. Trainings will include such topics as what's fighting you from the spiritual realm, engaging the supernatural realm for victory, holy altars versus evil altars, how to honor a powerful altar, the realms of darkness and light revealed, how to overcome witchcraft, evil spells, and curses, breaking bloodline curses, healing soul wounds and soul scars, and more. Call 1-888-825-7568 or 1-242-698-1383. Visit our website at maddynottage.org. That's the highly impacting training for reigning tactical skills enrichment experience for those who are ready to walk in greater dimensions with God.